Let's think about what else we can see. There are no zeros, but there's a discontinuity here. So what does that mean about when I differentiate down here? Still a discontinuity. It will still be a discontinuity. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to draw myself a dotted line here. Now, I just made a conceptual leap, and I wonder if you can work out how I made it. Okay? I knew somehow that not only was there a discontinuity here and here, but in fact, an asymptote here will give me an asymptote here. How do I know? <laughs> yeah, it's like because it's going to be the derivative is a, has a is a quotient. So when you and then in order to differentiate, you're going to have to square the derivative. Okay, so good. So the first thing I'm thinking is, in order to have an asymptote, we talked about this before, right? In order to have a vertical asymptote like this, you've got to have some function on the numerator, and then you've got to have like I don't know x minus three or something like that. If that was if that was equal to three. Okay. Now the second you differentiate this guy, you do u v, you do your quotient rule, and like I don't, well, it's going to be, we'll do it. Um, what's v dash? Sorry, v. It's just that's v. What's u dash? Well, it's just going to be f. I don't want to don't know what it is. Uh, minus u, and then v dash, which is just one. Okay. There's the numerator. Don't really care about that guy. What I care about is this guy. Look. There's the next derivative down. It shares the same asymptotes. There's the first thing. There's something, there's a more geometric argument I can make though, in addition to that to confirm what I see. Because yeah. discontinuities are not differentiable. Okay, discontinuities are not differentiable, but that doesn't tell me that there's going to be an asymptote. Okay, do you remember when we had a look at, um, uh, there are various graphs like this, right? That's also not differentiable, right? But the gradient for this guy is, remember, it looked like this. Right, do you remember that? That's not an asymptote. It's not asymptotic behavior. So how do I know that this will have a derivative that has an asymptote? Yeah. Because like if the first graph has an asymptote, the second gradient can't exist there already, so you already have nothing. And then you can't just be like there's a gradient of the nothing. Which you're on the right track. You're you're telling me about the discontinuity. I have the discontinuity covered, but I'm going further. I'm saying the kind of discontinuity I have. It's an asymptote. How do I know? Guys, I'm giving you a big clue. It's All you've got is geometry. Can you make a geometric argument for me? It's because the gradient of the first derivative is getting higher and higher, and then it, like, it gets to infinity, and then but the other one comes from like, a positive infinity, and it slows down. Okay, good. Let me, let me just repeat that in case you didn't catch it. All right? Let me try and make the geometric argument. Think, tell me about the gradient here. You already told me it's increasing, it's positive. But what kind of positive is it? Like, is it a little bit positive? It's, it's kind of. It's super crazy positive, and it's going to get even more positive <laughs> as you approach the asymptote, right? So here, this gradient is approaching infinity. Do you see that? Now, tell me. That's to the left of the asymptote. Oh. Tell me about here. What kind of gradient do I have it's there? Decreasing. It approaches zero. Careful. Stay with me, Year 12, because I don't have long left. Remember, you told me from the beginning this whole thing is increasing. The place where it's increasing most is that place I circled here, and here is also the steepest. Do you see that? It gets kind of shallower as you go. So therefore, it's also really, really, really increasing. That's how I know there's a NASA term. Okay. I'm going to shortcut the rest of it because we're running out of time. I know, in fact, I'm also going to have a horizontal asymptote here. Rather than, rather than ask you the question, I'm just going to tell you why. When I differentiate, right? Have a look at, remember I asked you about the gradient here and here. Let's finish. Can we finish? If you need to go catch a bus, go catch a bus. Otherwise, I'm going to keep finish going and finishing, right? Look at the gradient over here. What's it approaching? It's approaching a straight line, which is a constant of some kind, right? Like say one or three, right? What about the gradient here? It's approaching the same straight line, which has therefore the same gradient, the same constant. So if I'm approaching a gradient one over here, I must be also approaching gradient one over here. And you can even see that. Look, if you drew a tangent here, it's there. And if you drew a tangent here, it'll be there. So therefore, here is my next derivative down. This is what it's doing. Okay. 
A classic error here is that people draw this horizontal asymptote, they draw it over here. It can't be. It's not approaching zero. This is not flattening out. It's going to increase forever. It might climb at a gradient of one. Right? That's, that's slow, but it's still climbing. Or half. Or a quarter. But it's still climbing is the important thing. Okay? All right, let's finish off really quickly. I won't, I won't labor the fact that you're also going to get an asymptote up here. Okay? But now, the zeros here on my first <coughs> unit tell me about what on the actual function. There are turning points up here, right? So I'm going to get my ruler. I'm going to draw up here. There will be a stationary point in line with that. Up here. There will be a stationary point in, in line with that. Okay, tell me what kind of stationary points will they be? Uh, they're, both, they're, both they're, both, they're both concave oh, up. Yeah. Look, see, the second derivative is positive everywhere except for the asymptote. So therefore, this will be concave <coughs> up and well, this will be it. concave up. Yeah. All right, now what do you make of this? Okay? Like Tell you the easy bit. Tell you the easy bit. Um, I'm approaching an asymptote. Okay? I guess I'll approach my asymptote. That's easy. Okay? Now, what's happening over here? Look at this. Look at this. That's a negative gradient. Can you see the gradient? That's what this graph is, and it's below the axis. So therefore, I must be decreasing over here. Do you see that? It's decreasing. Do you not consider that? Because it's an odd right? Okay, I, I'm not going to get like an oblique asymptote up here if I have an oblique asymptote here. Notice that means that the gradient as I go further and further this way, is just more and more negative forever. So it just climbs off. It might be a parabol parabolic asymptote, but I don't have enough information to work out where that is. So you don't worry about it. Over here, what's happening? It's increasing. And it's in like the gradient is positive and it's getting more positive. So therefore it's going to do this. And we know that. And there's my graph. It's even function. It's even about this axis, which yeah. is not the actual. Now, just confirm. Okay, you can pack up as I do this, right? But let me show you. Let me convince you I got it right. Okay, gradient, decreasing, 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 zero. And look at the sign here. Increasing, 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 discontinuity. Here, in between the asymptote, it's decreasing, 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 decreasing. Zero. Zero. Positive, <laughs> increasing, 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 which corresponds to this. Concavity, concavity. It's all concave up. It's all concave up because all of these are positive. 